कॉलिंग फायर सी एस एफ कंट्रोल रूम कॉलिंग फायर सी एस एफ कंट्रोल रूम सी एस एफ कंट्रोल रूम ऑन द लाइन रिपोर्ट जो मैसेज हुआ तब इधर एक व्हाइट रंग की गाड़ी आके रेलवे लाइन के क्रॉसिंग के पास खड़ी हो गई है उसमें से कुछ आदमी उतर के अपने जो दीवार के साइड जो पाइप है उसके तोड़ कर रहे हैं जल्दी जल्दी मोबाइल पार्टी भेज दीजिए आप बाहर स्थिति पर नजर रखें और आदमियों की मूवमेंट्स पे ध्यान दें मैं अभी मोबाइल को तुरंत आपके पास भेज रहा हूँ ओवर एंड आउट कंट्रोल रूम कॉलिंग मोबाइल कम ऑन द लाइन मोबाइल ऑन द लाइन स्पीक ऑन सर ओवर रेलवे क्रॉसिंग के पास में सफेद कार के अंदर चार पांच आदमी सस्पिशियस कंडीशन में घूम रहे हैं आप तुरंत रेलवे क्रॉसिंग के पास पहुंचे और देखें ओवर के मिश्रा कॉलिंग टू असिस्टेंट कमांडेंट प्लीज कमांड लाइन ओवर असिस्टेंट कमांडेंट ऑफ द लाइन रेलवे क्रॉसिंग के पास में हमने चार आदमियों को अरेस्ट किया है और उनके पास से एक रिवॉल्वर बरामद हुआ है उनको आप अपने कब्जे में रखे हैं अभी बम बनाने के जो सामान था वो भी वहां पर मिला है तो बम जैसी चीज डिटेक्ट हुई है उसको आसपास से सैंड बैग से घेर दें और बम डिस्पोजल स्कर्ट के आने तक उसको किसी को ना छूने दें also trained in such arts as camouflage The Central Industrial Security Force is entering 25th year of its existence. The CISF had a fiery birth in 1968 when militant trade unionism indulged in acts of sabotage of the manufacturing unit of the Hindustan Heavy Engineering located in Ranchi. In this background of this incident is the CISF was created with a view to providing security cover to the public sector undertakings since then the organization has faced a number of trials and tribulations when we look back notwithstanding various complex and difficult situations encountered by the force it has stood the test of time and built up for itself an enviable reputation for professionalism 
discipline, efficiency, and impartiality. It has also acquired a unique character which hardly has any parallel in the world. I dare say that the original hopes pinned in the organization have been fulfilled. From a small beginning with three battalions deployed in two public sector undertakings, the CSF today has a strength of 84,000 men and it is providing security cover to over 212 public sector undertakings. Among the vital installations that the Central Industrial Security Force guards and provides complete security for is the Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited Refinery at Bombay. This vast complex not only refines oil but has yards where rail rakes are filled and truck tankers take on their load for transportation by road. Besides inside patrolling, CISF personnel are also responsible in ensuring that the quantity of product being transported by truckers conforms to the official sale vouchers held by the truckers. Energy in one form or the other is required by various sectors of our economy for the production of goods needed by our people. Petroleum products go to fulfill this vital need of energy and at our refinery in Bombay we produce petroleum products out of refining of crude oil to the tune of about six to seven million metric tons every year. The production of these petroleum products is so very vital that any interruption in the supply of these products not only go to affect the economy but cause a lot of misery to our people. To ensure that the refinery is secure at all times and that we are in a position to continue refining on a 24 hour, 365 days basis in the year. This role of providing security to the refinery is fulfilled by the Central Industrial Security Force, CISF, which we at Bharat Petroleum introduced at our refinery in Bombay in 1990. After the induction of CISF, we have seen that first of all, this being a professional body of experts, they know their job to the full and we therefore remain assured that we need not have any anxiety on this front. Like any unit manufacturing highly volatile substances, Bharat Petroleum is prone to the devastating hazard, fire. In fact, the Indian Petrochemical Limited complex at Nagothane suffered one such devastating blaze in 1990, which, but for the CISF, could have resulted in complete destruction of the complex.
As a matter of fact, CISF is the only paramilitary force to possess specialized firefighting units and up-to-date facilities to train these personnel. Other services are availing CISF's expertise in this field. To provide comprehensive training at one location in all aspects of security, the CISF has set up the National Internal Security Academy at Hyderabad, where formal courses are run covering subjects such as sabotage, remote controlled devices, and electronic gadgets. Useful to bomb disposal technician for rendering safe improvised explosive device that is called IED. The technician goes away from the device to about 25 meter to 85 meters of distance depending upon the requirement and then he has to press the device twice like this and the radio operated wire cutter comes into action and the improvised explosive device is made safe. The CISF is recommending increased use of such modern equipment a centrally controlled television network in order to increase the efficient security of vast industrial complexes. Thank you. 
port has been conceived as the most modern port to meet the international standards. It is a thousand crore project and has container terminal and bulk terminal apart from other allied facilities. Central Industrial Security Force is in charge of the security of this port, unlike some ports which have got their own security services. I am happy to note that CSF has done an excellent work in this port with the result that our port can be termed as a pilferage free port. Because of the ceaseless efforts of CSF, there has been no um, cases of uh, antisocial activities or any sabotage activities in this port. The Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited in Bhopal has been one of the most important government-owned industrial units right since its inception. Today, with emphasis on increased power generation capacity and electrification of trains, BHEL has become even more important. Though giant turbines manufactured here cannot be stolen easily, there are smaller components which can be pilfered. The CISF has located one of its recently formed sniffer dog squads at this huge complex to help in crime detection. November 1981, CSF was inducted in Bhopal plant. CSF has done excellent work in providing security to the plant as well as the township over the last few years. Due to their constant vigil, CSF has managed to prevent thefts, pilferages and other crimes. During recent communal riots in Bhopal as well as in BHL township, CSF did commendable work in maintaining law and order and prevented large-scale looting, rioting, murders, as well as arson. While doing so, one constable, SMK Nair, lost his life and Sub-Inspector V.S. Patel was grievously injured. The success at Bhopal was directly because CISF personnel are trained as a matter of course in crowd control, dealing with violent protests and riots. In keeping with modern times, CISF has induced its customers, the industrial units, to install modern gadgets for such routine but very important tasks such as checking of identity cards. These include handheld scanners, wall fixed units and at very sensitive installation scanners where in addition to clearing the identity card, a code has to be punched in to gain entry. The use of computers in security work has also been increased to include tasks 
such as keeping record of casual visitors and load manifests of vehicles transporting manufactured goods from a plant. Rastriya Chemicals and Fertilizers, apart from the production of fertilizers, RCF also manufactures a host of industrial products, namely methanol, ammonium bicarbonate, concentrated nitric acid and other acids which are required for the development of this country. Rastriya Chemicals and Fertilizers markets its fertilizers and industrial products throughout this country and our prime marketing territory is in the western zone and southern zones of this country. The Rastriya Chemicals and Fertilizers for the first unit to engage in the, in the first unit in the public sector undertaking to engage the Central Industrial Security Force. The Central Industrial Security Force first unit was established in RCF on 1st of November 1969. From then on, the place has been protected very nicely and efficiently by Central Industrial Security Force. In the recent communal violences that uh, the uh, Bombay has witnessed, RCF has been protected very nicely by the Central Industrial Security Force. The, as I had told earlier, Rashtriya Chemicals and Fertilizers has a lot of industrial products and also ammonia storage tanks which are very hazardous chemicals. The role of Central Industrial Security Force in guarding this place has been stupendous. Security at such vital units as nuclear fuel facilities and installations connected with space and rocketry is even more important because these are liable to be very attractive to anti-national elements including saboteurs and terrorists. The responsibilities of CISF, therefore, increase manifold. Department of Atomic Energy Establishment at Kalpakam is given a security coverage by CISF since 1972. We are standing in front of first previous test reactor, one of the important ones for our country. Recently, we have developed about the usage of thorium, which is available in our country. Because of this breakthrough, this, imbo this importance of this, our country is really proud. At the same time, we have the security risk for this vital plant. For this purpose, we have employed a lot of uh, security gadgets. One such a thing is microwave system. We have, there is a microwave system controlling this entire area and it is uh, given on a repeater and a mimicry display board. By that, the guard at the control room can find out if anyone enters into that area. Thus, immediately rush to the place and arrest the person or if there is a false alarm, he will accordingly set the set. Similarly, if there is any person who is working inside this plant and he is trying to go in a vital area, there is a check. If a man goes inside, immediately the alarm comes to the control room and the jawan on duty can check that somebody has entered that vital area. Immediately you can put on the monitor and uh, uh, change the camera and locate the person and accordingly you can contact the control room and clarify whether this man has the authorized entry inside this area. And when there is C on one side of the installation, as it is at both Kalpakam and Sri Harikota, there is always a danger of vulnerability from that direction.
2, 1, 0. CSF has frequently been called upon to the aid of civil authorities like other paramilitary forces from time to time. It has rendered useful services during the elections in different states and union territories and its performance has been highly appreciated. During 1991, 255 companies have been deployed on different occasions for internal security and election duties. A contingent of the force has also been sent to Cambodia where young police officers of the CISF showed extraordinary courage in seizing weapons there and apprehending some miscreants. It is our constant endeavor to make the force achieve greater professional heights and at the same time make it more cost effective. Security of certain industrial undertakings have lately assumed the urgency and the prominence in certain areas of industrial activity such as oil, coal and power generation. Oil and gas installations, both offshore and onshore, as also the hydrocarbon processing industries like refineries, LPG plants, are not only vital to our economy, but also highly vulnerable. Some other industrial sectors have also been subjected to such security hazards. Our effort in the CSF is to address ourselves to identify special needs of these installations and provide them suitable security models. While on the one hand, technical support and scientific gadgetry used in the industrial undertakings is being constantly upgraded, state-of-art equipment is also being procured for this purpose. Emphasis is being laid on computerization as also to improve the communication facilities in the force and I think that it will go a long way in providing the modern and useful equipment to the industrial sectors which is a need of the hour. Keeping abreast of modern technological developments in the field of security and modifying and improving the training of its personnel based on experience gained under a variety of circumstances and situations over the past so many decades, the Central Industrial Security Force has shouldered ever-increasing responsibilities at more and more industrial units and because of its reputation, more and more public sector enterprises are anxious to avail of its services.